Hey there, how you doing? It's uh, Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. And sometimes I really feel like a dummy. I got two um, little issues today I want to discuss with you. And uh, I'm in Sirene. Sirene is the name of my leisure travel van. It's a 2000 uh, Dodge um, Dodge Ram. What is it? 3500? I think 30. See, it shows how much I know. I'm a dummy. 3500 chassis. And um, <coughs> excuse me, and a uh, 2001 leisure travel conversion. Well, those of you that have been following me for some time uh, remember that I've had an issue with um, water leaking into the van when um, it's on a tilt, it's on a slant with the uh, back facing down. So the so the you know driver's area uh, facing up. The tilt and the, the the back of the tail the tail of the of the van facing down a hill. I've had water leaking in, and I've taken it to the RV center repair shop. I've I've uh, had some other people look at it. I've tried to mess with it, and and although I thought I had it, I still didn't. I still when I in certain situations when it was slanted, um, rainwater would still come in. So I did a lot of poking around and hunting and just thinking and um, reading and just all kind of stuff. And I, I think I may have found the answer. Again, I'm not 100% sure, but the good news is, as you can see by my rain gear, it's raining out here now. And I'm going to show you what I did. And as of now, knock on wood, knock on wood, it's raining like fairly hard, not real hard, but it's a moderate, moderate rain. And in the past, this would have definitely been soaking the inside around my uh, kitchen area. Um, I want to show you exactly what I did. So I, I went outside and I, I, I found that I think it might have been the actual rain gutter. Um, as water is kind of going down the rain gutter, um, it was seeping into, there was like a, a communication with the inside of the van, it was seep, seeping inside the van as well. So um, after doing some reading, I found this um, 502 LSW self-leveling sealant. By Dicor. I'm not sure if this is coming across backwards or not, whether you can read it or not. But if you can't read it, it is yeah, self-leveling sealant by Dicor, D-I-C-O-R. And what I did, I'll show you. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm like coughing like crazy now. I'm not really sure why. Let's let's just take a walk outside of the van right now. I'm going to swap this around here so you can see me walking outside. I've got a little ladder already outside, and it's raining. I'm going to put my hood up. Let's go ahead and close the door to the van. And let me just show you real quickly what it looks like, just in case you're brand new to me. I love this thing. It's like in really, really, really good condition, about 80, oh, about 80 to 84,000 miles, something like that. And I just, I just love it. So let me just take a real quick walk around the van. As you can see, it's raining for sure. It's raining. Yep. It's, so this is a great time to test it because you see all the all the water all over the place. So um, I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Let's just climb up this ladder here. I hope I don't fall off here. Oh, okay. Now let me point the camera down to where I actually. Let's see if I can get this right here. There we go. So I put the um. Die courts. It's a little bit of a, I won't say it's like a real neat job because nobody can see this anyway, unless they're standing up on a ladder. So I just kind of filled in the rain gutter here with this die core self-leveling sealant and see what was happening was the water was getting in the rain gutter and it was getting, going through this way into the van and somehow traveling all the way down. And here's my awning. So it's, it's really a little hard to see. It was traveling all the way down the rain gutter, <coughs> and as it was traveling down, it was also seeping inside and um, uh, finding its way into the uh, to the kitchen area. Now, one other thing I did, let me get a little bit higher on the ladder here. I went ahead and removed the antenna that was on right here, the antenna that was right here. I removed it. And I sealed really, really, really well around the remaining part. Um, I don't, I'm not a TV guy and I don't, I didn't need the antenna. It was really just kind of just looking really, really ugly. I'm going to say fugly, actually. It was looking horrible. 
And I just wanted it gone. I don't need it. Um, whenever I use, if I use a TV or anything, I will just go ahead and um, and use a uh, HDMI connection to my laptop with Wi-Fi, so I'll, I'll be able to watch TV that way. So I, I just, I would never watch really uh, uh, terrestrial terrestrial TV at all. And plus, it wasn't. I don't even think it was working anyway. Let's go back into the van, and I'll show you now. Hopefully, it's dry. Ow! Hit my head on the thing. Ow! <laughs> Okay, let's go back in here and take a walk around here to where the water was. And oh, you like our little, we like little stuffed animal on our on our bed, sofa bed. Uh, it's cute. We got it somewhere. I think I can't remember where. But let me turn the light on here. There we go. And in the past, this area right here, along the if, along the sink would be wet and it would also be dripping down onto the carpet down here just underneath that it would be it would be soaking wet by now for sure and also uh this is where like the um paper towels go and the soap and the spices or whatever you might have um this would be very very wet back here so the water was kind of dripping in from the gutter finding its way into here dripping down onto the countertop then also dripping down into the carpet. Well, as you could see outside, it's raining pretty hard, fairly hard, moderately. And this is right now, and, and I'm and intentionally I've got the van parked in a position where it's way, it's 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 definitely slanted way back for sure. Um, in the past, this would have absolutely been wet, but now it's dry. So I don't know. I mean. Again, I, I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I guess it would take more testing and testing and testing. But as of right now, I think at least, at the very least, I'm on the right track. And if it needs a little more patching up, I can I feel comfortable that I can do that. So that's number one. That's number one problem. And I believe, I believe solution. Number two, I don't have a solution for it. I'm hoping you can help me. Um, for some, now I got a new, a new, I got new coach batteries. Uh, let me turn this around so you can see me again, so I can just talk to you. 101. So I got um I got new coach batteries last year. Only maybe let's say I don't know six months ago. My coach batteries are brand new. Um, for some reason over the winter when I was storing this, um, I got it back and I realized that there was a battery drain somewhere. And I'm not really sure where the battery drain is. But what happens is this: uh, when I just have the the uh, vehicle sitting there right now i'm plugged in to a um, to to um, the shore power um but let me see let me go ahead and turn this light off i don't need this light right now but um what would happen would be just after a very short amount of time see right here when i when i hit the control panel you can see all the lights light up on the right hand side so my battery is like fully charged but i'm plugged in i'm plugged into ac on the shore uh shore on the shore uh the, sh the shoreline um but if I were to unplug this now, unplug the um, AC, um, after a fairly short amount of time, it would start to go down a little bit. Nor in the past it never did that, but it would start to go kind of you know to the to the orange, then to the two, and and I could tell for some reason something was draining it somewhere. Now I'm not sure. I'm not really sure where to look. Um, being the RV dummy, I am not mechanical at all. I'm not an electrician. I don't know really much about electricity at all. So I'm just not really sure where to start. So it might be something simple. I'm hoping it is, but nothing's on. I can tell you that just nothing, it's draining and I, nothing is apparently on. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the RV dummy, but I was smart enough to check that to make sure nothing is actually on and draining. Um, so if you could offer me any suggestions, I'll be happy to check them out. I just, I just, I need some help and I'm sure that maybe you or maybe one of your friends or maybe another viewer has the answer to this, something I'm missing. I just don't, I just don't know what it is. So I'm looking for your help. We're getting to RV season now. It's getting a little bit warmer here in the Maryland area. Uh, I'm going to be doing some road trips fairly soon. So stay in touch. I'm going to be road tripping a little bit and also um, just showing you some things that I'm doing or trying to fix or I might ask for your help in certain situations um, and that's what I'm doing so thanks for thanks for being in touch this um, was a short one 
under 10 minutes. Well, now it's 10 minutes. <laughs> so we're over 10 minutes right now. I try to keep them not too, too long, but just enough time to um, share what I'm doing and ask for help or Maybe I can even help you sometime. Maybe the leak that I found, it took me months to figure this out. And trust me, the RV experts didn't didn't know. So I'm not an expert. I'm an RV dummy. But it, I think just when you persevere and never give up and just start thinking and figuring it out, maybe just at some point, it just, it just comes to you. Okay, Dr. Dave, the RV dummy in Sarani. Sarani is my RV and Sarani means further in Japanese. I'll see you very, very soon.